Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create and save subtitles that are looking like this. In my power bins right here, I have saved myself a template of subtitle like this, which I created on my own a long time ago. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that as well and use it for your future projects with just one click. So basically, you're creating it once and then you're just replacing the text inside. To get started, you need to go to titles and get a text plus onto your timeline. Once it's there, you can go to the inspector and change the font. Personally, my favorite font is Montserrat and I'm using the black style. I'm typing a random text inside the text field. I'm increasing the size of my liking and now we're ready to continue. Right click on the text plus and open infusion tab. In here you will find template and media out. Our first step in here is to add some motion on our text. So we are gonna click on transform icon right here. While this transform is highlighted you wanna go to your first frame right here and create a keyframe next to size and reduce it to about 0.8. Then you want to go further in the timeline, depending on your liking, I'm going 10 frames forward because I'm using 60 frame timeline and I'm giving a values of size of 1. Our text is slowly zooming in now, now we need to select the spline tab right here to make it even smoother, select here, then select here and then select all the keyframes by clicking on here. Then you want to select S on your keyboard to smooth down the keyframes and pull this second one to make it easy again, gradually zooming in making it much more presentable for the viewer. Also, after everything I do, I always like to add some motion blur. So we go to settings right here, enable motion blur and increase the quality and the shoulder angle by a tiny bit. I'm going to preview to see what we're having so far. A tiny bit of zoom with the motion blur. And now we need to move on with the next step, which is adding a camera shake. So I'm pressing Ctrl spacebar and then typing in the toolbox camera shake. Then I click on add. Now I'm going to preview this camera shake and at first it's going to look very messy. So I'm going in the inspector while camera shake is highlighted and I'm reducing these values of x, y, deviation, overall strength and the speed. You can adjust these strengths based on your liking. I usually prefer to have just a tiny bit of camera shake. And just like I previously said, I always like to add some motion blur, so I'm going in settings and adding some motion blur to the camera shake as well. Next we're having the last note in the fusion tab, pressing ctrl space bar again, and this time we're looking for glow. So I'm adding this glow note onto my note 3, and I'm reducing the amount of glow that I'm having. I want it to feel just a tiny bit of glow. I don't want to overdo it, I want to make it easier for reading. Then I'm going back to the edit tab and you can see that we're having a nice pop-up subtitle. And there are just a few more things that you can do. One of them is go to shading, select page number 2 and click on enable. This is our outline. By default it should be set on red but personally I like it to use a black outline. Since our background is black so you cannot tell what we're having right now so I'm leaving a bright background so you can see that we're having some black outline. I'm going again in the inspector, scrolling down and I'm increasing the amount of thickness so that I can make it easier for the viewer to read. So I'm increasing the values to 0.1 which is all the way to the end. I'm going to preview it once again and then we're gonna move on with the last step. Something that I always prefer is using this overlay that I had from Pexobay for a background. I'm leaving it just under my subtitle and then I'm copying it and I'm replacing the text. And after I copied it and I replaced the text, this is what we're having. A shaky motion glow subtitle, which you can create yourself in a few minutes and save it. And how you can do that, you can highlight your text, go to a file in the inspector, type the name of the template, then you can grab it and you can leave it in the media pool in the power bins right here. So you can just grab it and drop it in the power bins. And afterwards, you can take it and leave it in your timeline and just replace the text and adjust the length. I hope it was helpful, if you want to see more you can check out this video right here, I'm pretty sure it's gonna like it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.